Hello YouTube viewers and welcome back to Therapeutic Tuesdays. I am Movement Mike Nimchek and today I wanted to continue to work with the lacrosse ball, um, tissue smashing or um, mobilization that I talked about last week. I demonstrated how to use the peanut, which are two tennis balls or lacrosse balls taped together going in between um, on either side of your spine to kind of work the muscles in between there, which are hard to reach uh, without affecting the spine. So a, little, a great little tool that you can start to utilize and keep your upper back and part of your neck mobile and pain free. So today, working with a lacrosse ball, and really what I did is I took an old beat up baseball and I wrapped it in the same athletic tape. And that way, it's not gonna, not gonna be rubbing on old leather and stitching, it's just all this athletic tape, which I'm okay with. So, today I'm specifically going to be working with the glutes. I just finished a three day, two and a half day backpacking trip over the weekend, took a long weekend and uh, went Friday, Saturday, Sunday to the Linville Gorge. And I'll have the video of that up on Thursday. So let me show you how to work out some of those knots that may be in the ever so powerful and necessary gluteus maximus. Let's get right into it. All right. so. The way in which this works is that you want to go ahead and put this right there and just start hunting around. I like to start like right underneath my hip bone here, right? So pull it short so you can see. It's right underneath the hip bone going back towards the meat of my booty. And you want to try and keep your breathing consistent. You don't want it to become erratic and shallow. Like, <sighs> you want to try and keep it relaxed in the nose and out the nose if you, if you can, but at the very least in the nose and out the mouth. And at first, I know doing this yesterday, given today's Tuesday, coming into this yesterday, oh my gosh, trying to release the, I mean, the muscles just wouldn't let go, wouldn't let go. So I really had to work on a flex and relax technique. So being able to squeeze my butt muscle against this lacrosse ball or baseball, and then exhale and try and release it. Now it's not always gonna release with those exhales, but you wanna work on that flex and then try and release. Having those polar opposites. So your nervous system understands that, okay, this is flexed and now I'm releasing, it should fully release. And over time, Granted that you're using a consistent, calm breath, you should get a lot of release from those tight muscles. Working the soreness out. Oh. And getting everything moving again. Maybe some stale blood. I know I've talked about this in other videos, or I think I've mentioned it once before about um, dry blood in, in certain muscle areas that weren't properly hydrated. And I did get a little dehydrated on the trail, although I tried to fix that the next morning. So I really just hunt around and I search and it seems to be the upper part of my glute that's feeling it. And you can do this all the way down, even at the base of the butt. So now if you can see underneath here, it's right at like the crease where the back of my leg and the bottom of my butt meet. And you can roll through there. Again, trying to find relax and a release of tension with each exhale. If you find some resistance, that's when you do the flex and release. And you can see what just happened there as I flex, see how I raise up a little bit because the glute muscle is tensing, and then I release and I allow that, ooh, that's a good one. I allow that ball to dig deep into those muscle tissues. 
and then you would do it on the other side. So then I'll just roll off. And the whole time I'm holding myself up. So you need a certain amount of, I guess, shoulder stability. So we talk about keeping the shoulder pulled back. I've talked about it in other uh, Therapeutic Tuesday videos, how you can, when even a workout Wednesday, where I had you doing the um, scapular retractions, right? You want that same thing. You want to kind of keep the chest open while I'm doing this. So I'm not like, I'm not caving in, I let my shoulder go to my ear. I'm trying to maintain a relatively um, long distance between the ear and the shoulder. And so, keeping that in mind. So we'll go ahead and do the other side. And I won't stay on this for too much longer, just so I can wrap this video up. And I'll finish this on my own. All right, so there you have it. Working with a lacrosse ball or tennis ball or even a taped up Ten, uh, baseball like I have done. Really simple tools that you can use to really get yourself into the best shape and feeling your very best. If you take care of yourself, then you have the power, the experience, and the knowledge to help others take care of themselves. And that chain goes down and on and on and on. Hopefully you've gained something from this and are willing to try this out and if you feel so inclined, please let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, any concerns, anything that you want me to discuss in the future. I have a comment section down below. I also have many different links to my uh, social media platforms that I would be happy to answer your questions, concerns, or start a conversation with you. Until next time, keep going and keep growing mentally physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.